Following another shooting at a synagogue, this time in California, Meghan McCain, who is apparently an analyst for ABC, said something really stupid. Watch. Much more quickly than they could with Christ Church, but that is a real issue. Yeah, and one that I think that Silicon Valley should have their feet held to the fire. I do think when we're having conversations about anti-Semitism, we should be looking at the most extreme on both sides. And I would bring up Congresswoman Ilhan Omar and some of her comments that got so much attention. And in my opinion, Nancy Pelosi wasn't hard enough in her response to her, you know, trafficking in anti-Semitic language, talking about all about the Benjen Benjamins and how uh, Jewish people had hypnotized the world. So I think when you're talking about rhetoric and you want to talk about President Trump, and by the way, I agree that he needs to have his feet held to the fire as well. But we're we're talking about it on both sides of the aisle as well. What, what? Yeah, we got to talk about the extremes on both sides of the aisle. On one side, you have the president that is covering for white supremacy. And on the other side, you have Ilhan Omar being taken out of context by people like you who do no research and know nothing. Why exactly is Meghan McCain a political analyst on ABC? Let me show you. My father, 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 I am John McCain's daughter. Yeah. That's why Meghan McCain is even a known quantity. Why we even know who she is. Because of her father. And it also doesn't uh, hurt that her mom is an heiress to a beer fortune. So that also helps. So Meghan McCain, no qualifications, knows nothing, does no research, continues to spread misinformation on television. So let me um just correct some of the things that she said here. So she said that uh, Ilhan Omar, oh, she said all about the Benjamins, that was somehow anti-Semitic when it was just a widely used phrase from a Puff Daddy song. And she was, uh, Ilhan Omar was saying it in response to Kevin McCarthy being motivated by APAC, a well-known lobby that works to the benefit of the right-wing Israeli government, which is engaging in human rights abuses against the Palestinian people. This was not anti-Semitic. This was a, crit uh, a critique, a criticism of the Republican Party and really of politics as a whole in the U.S. that is largely influenced by APAC. Now, on the other part, uh, the other comment that Meghan McCain mentioned about Ilhan Omar saying that, so Meghan McCain claimed that Ilhan Omar said that, quote unquote, Jews hypnotized the world. That is not what Ilhan Omar said. Ilhan Omar uh, actually said Israel has hypnotized the world. Israel not Jews. Israel has hypnotized the world while doing evil. Again, she was saying this in relation to uh, APAC and how uh, the right-wing Israeli government is treating the Palestinian people. Now, she did apologize for saying uh, hypnotized because using the word hypnotized in a context like that can be offensive to Jewish people. So Ilhan Omar ended up apologizing for that comment. But the actual substance of what Ilhan Omar was talking about not anti-Semitic, simply pointing out a fact of how the right-wing Israeli government is treating Palestinians. Now, let me also show you some reactions to um, Meghan McCain's stupidity. So uh, this, uh, these two tweets from the Director of Communications and Digital Outreach for the Women's March, Sophie Elman Golan. Meghan McCain, how dare you suggest that Ilhan Omar is in some way responsible for the murder of our people when the Poway Shooters Manifesto showed his penchant for violent Islamophobia and anti-Semitism alike. We know who is killing us. How dare you? Any news network choosing to put Meghan McCain on air to talk about anti-Semitism in the U.S. is slapping the American Jewish community in the face. We can speak for our damn selves. And this from journalist Glenn Greenwald. 
The idea that a black Somali American Muslim immigrant was the inspiration for a psychopathic 8chan white nationalist to attack a synagogue is stunningly stupid and grotesque. Then again, so is the fact that you get treated as an important political analyst by having a famous dad. <laughs> yeah. Nobody respects Meghan McCain. Nobody that knows anything about anything, about news, about politics, nobody has any respect for Meghan McCain. Meghan McCain doesn't know anything. And she keeps being put on television to spread this kind of misinformation. Now, while Meghan McCain was out here disparaging Ilhan Omar, Ilhan Omar was busy visiting a school in her district where she is inspiring thousands of kids. All right, uh, I had to cut that video down because there was just too much happiness. <laughs> it went on for too long, but you can watch the whole thing if you want. I'll link to it uh, below the video. But look, this shows you how important Ilhan Omar is. She inspires thousands of kids, people that didn't have anybody representing them in, in Congress, anybody that looked like them. The, I mean, this is something I think a lot of white people don't understand because they live in this society that they've always been represented by people that look like them. But imagine living in a society where nobody in government looked like you and you felt like your voice wasn't heard. That's how it's been for years and years and years for people in the Muslim community and people like Ilhan Omar who are Somali American Muslims. They had no representation until now. So Ilhan Omar is not only a vital voice because of her because of how she inspires people but also because she's willing to call out human rights abuses regardless of the country, regardless of who it is. So she'll call it out if it's the right-wing Israeli government, and she'll also call it out if it's the Saudis. She does it all the time, but people like Meghan McCain will, want to, will try and paint her as an anti-Semite. Oh, stop attacking Israel. Ilhan Omar critiques human rights abuses all around the world, regardless of who it is. So when you see Meghan McCain... <laughs> on television. Just be aware, she doesn't know anything. She has not studied politics. Her father was a senator. Her mom is an heiress to a fortune. That is the only reason anybody knows who Meghan McCain is.